Hi, it's Trance1999 with a video about the Buzzard Attack Chopper. Wait, now? It's been out for ages. Sure, but I'm just starting my channel and I have a lot of older stuff to cover as well. And this classic helicopter is still one of the top two or three vehicle purchases you can make in Grand Theft Auto Online. It's a must have. I'm going to show you how fast it goes with my exclusive GTA speedometer, and I've got a few other tips. So even if you already have this thing, you're going to want to watch it till the end. So sit tight and watch the main title. So the other day I was talking to one of my buddies and he said, my buzzard doesn't do what yours does. It spawns in weird places just like my other helicopters and I had to wait four minutes to request it. I was a sitting duck. Okay, so maybe you already know the answer to this one, do you? I'm gonna get to that in a minute, but first things first. Let's talk about buying the buzzard and go over its abilities, its pros and cons. You buy the buzzard in the Warstock cash and carry site and the normal price is 1.75 million. I will say this, always look for sales. Rockstar has new sales every week, something is always on sale, and you might save a million dollars if you just wait. So when I bought the buzzard it was 50% off, only 875 grand, which at that price, it's a steal. But even at 1.75 million, it's a must have as soon as you can afford it, especially for a new player. It'll help facilitate you making even more money. I can tell you that I've spent a lot on items that aren't anywhere near as valuable or useful, like this private blackjack table in my penthouse. That cost a million, and all I use it for is losing money. And the dealer wins. The buzzard is light and easy to maneuver. It has a relatively small rotor span, and you can land in some tight spots. When doing crate jobs, I land in my warehouse parking lot right between these two light posts without scraping them. The buzzard can also turn quickly, it's relatively fast, and it has both a machine gun and homing missiles. And it's just fun to fly. So let's talk about speed. There are no real speedometers in GTA, and I'm not running a mod, I play on the Xbox. I built this in After Effects, I'm using a CEO challenge point to point race, so it will display the distance to the target. I've got that info covered up with my custom speedometer. Here's the math. I track the distance traveled in feet every second to calculate feet per second, and then from there it's an easy conversion to miles per hour and kilometers per hour. The average is shown here from the moment I left the ground. This method calculates ground speed, so it doesn't take into account any up or down speed. So the top speed when you're going flat out with no obstacles is about 145 miles per hour, or 194 kilometers per hour. Of course we slow down a little going up over hills. With takeoff and landing it took just over 3 minutes to reach the bunker, and overall we have an average speed of about 120 miles per hour. The Buzzard has machine guns, guided missiles, and non-homing missiles. It's important to note that guided missiles won't target lock on another player unless they're piloting another aircraft. In one battle I was having, I didn't know this yet and I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't lock on the guy standing on the ground shooting at me, so I just dive bombed him. I ran the chopper right into him. You will hear this tone when someone target locks on you and fires. You can often outmaneuver the missile. I personally believe it also helps to fire some missiles as a countermeasure, but I have to admit that I don't know if that really helps or not. If you know, let the rest of us know in the comments section. There is a slight pause between firing missiles. You can fire two and then have to wait about five seconds before firing the next two. These are not exploding bullets, but can still take out a police helicopter really quick if you hit it just right. Let me give you a quick tip for having wanted levels when you're in the chopper. And this really applies to all helicopters and aircraft, even the Deluxo or the Oppressor. So let's say you've got a two-star wanted level. Your guided missiles are going to target lock onto cops on the ground. But if you fire and blow one of those guys up, you're going to get a three-star wanted level. Killing a cop is an instant three-star wanted level. So when you're doing a job, you'll want to avoid this. Because once you get three stars, the police helicopters will show up and try to shoot you down. And that's a huge distraction when doing a mission. Say if you're doing something like Headhunter. And if your buzzard gets shot too many times, you'll start smoking. Okay, now let's talk about access. So, there are several ways to access this chopper. 
First, the buzzard is available by calling Pegasus. Hello, this is Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? There's a $200 fee for this, you, but there's no charge when the buzzard is destroyed as a Pegasus vehicle. I guess because you already paid for it. However, there is a cooldown period before you can request it again. And the other problem is that when you call Pegasus and request it, they'll deliver it to a really inconvenient spot, like on top of the hospital or at the beach, which is five or six blocks away. It's a pain. And this is what my friend was talking about. If you're in a battle and someone is trying to kill you, or you're in a hurry to finish a mission, this is not convenient. And this is the case with most aircraft if you don't have a hangar. All of the Pegasus vehicles, when you call and request them, they'll deliver to one of several spots around the map. Okay, the second way to access the chopper, after you do purchase that hangar, you can convert most of your Pegasus vehicles to personal vehicles. Fly it into the hangar and it will convert. After this, you can request the vehicle via the interaction menu instead of by calling Pegasus. And now it will be delivered to different locations. Slightly more convenient locations, but only slightly. And be aware, as I discussed in my video on accessing vehicles, if you request it as a personal vehicle, your other current personal vehicle will be returned to storage. Because you can only have one personal vehicle at a time, and this includes aircraft and other special vehicles. So you'll want to already be near an aircraft spawn location when you request it. I also want to point out that when you convert it to a hangar vehicle, it's not really converted, it's still also available as a Pegasus vehicle. And the last point on this one, be aware that now if it's destroyed, you have to call Moore's Mutual for replacement and it will be returned to your hangar. And there's a possible $1,000 charge for that. Third, you could just fly it out of your hangar. This is the same as requesting it as a personal vehicle from the interaction menu. So it will return your other current personal vehicle to storage. The fourth way, if you're a CEO and you're in your office, you can exit via vehicle, pick the buzzard, and it'll put you in one taking off of the roof. There's a $500 charge for this. You could also ask your assistant and that's basically the same thing. You'll get charged 500 and automatically be placed in this vehicle taking off the roof. When getting the buzzard this way, there's again no charge for destroying it. And finally, the fifth and last way that I can think of is that if you're a CEO, you can request it as a CEO vehicle. And again, this was the thing my friend was missing out on because there are so many ways to request the chopper, he was just assuming all ways are the same, but they're not. What's also great about this is that it's not the same chopper as your personal one. You can have this CEO buzzard out and the personal one at the same time. You could fly one and your buddy could fly the other one. In fact, you can also still call Pegasus to request one. Here I have three buzzards out at the same time. The red one is my personal aircraft, this one is the Pegasus one, and this one is my CEO one. There are several really great features that the CEO buzzard has that your personal one does not. First and foremost, it spawns almost instantly and right next to you. So unlike it did as a Pegasus or personal vehicle where it spawned only at specific locations, the CEO one will show up right next to you. Next, as a CEO vehicle, there's no fee when you request it and none when it gets destroyed. It also doesn't return your primary vehicle to storage when you request it. I really like that you can have it out and have a personal vehicle out at the same time. When on jobs, say like a bunker supply run, you can have a buzzard and a deluxo out at the same time and let your associate use one of them. So all of these CEO features actually make it the perfect beginner's vehicle for many jobs, like doing crate work. Also, just another quick side note here, let's say that rather than being a CEO, you're an associate for another company, you can request this as an associate vehicle and then you or the CEO can use it. Finally, let's talk about modifications. If you have that hangar and shelled out another 1.5 million for the workshop, you can modify your aircraft just like you can modify cars in the mod shop. I was really disappointed to find out that the buzzer chopper doesn't have any modifications. You can't improve the armor or weapons at all. Basically, all you can do is respray it, change the color. I guess on the bright side, the price you pay for the buzzard is basically the total cost for it maxed out with all the weapons. And one question I had was if I modify the color here, will that also modify the color of the CEO vehicle? And it doesn't. That one stays black, as does the Pegasus one, which proves that those are completely different vehicles. Well, that about covers it. Thanks for watching. If you have any additional tips or you just want to talk about your feelings, toss those in the comment section. Make sure to like and subscribe and all of that stuff. It really does make a difference. 
I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers, so do it. Do it now.